Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at the .net. We're here at the Interop Super Secret Warehouse, an underground bunker somewhere in California, where we are setting up for Interop Las Vegas 2010. It is a collection of the largest temporary network in the world and some of the most advanced technologies on the planet. I'm here with Joe Morales from Fluke Networks, and uh, well, Fluke has been a longtime uh, sponsor of Interop. Uh, they've given us all the test equipment that we need to make sure that everything's working. But Joe tells me they got something else. Well, Joe, what is this? Uh, so, Padre, this is NetAl NetAlly Application Advisor. This is a new product from Fluke Networks. It's a software product. Fluke is mo mainly known for their hardware products. Right. This is a software-only product. Um, and it is an uh, application tester. And the, and the difference between this application tester and other application testers you might have seen before is that this deploys software agents to locations throughout your network where the users would be. <laughs> And then it tests the applications from the user's perspective. So um, if the user calls you up from a remote site and says, hey, my email is not working, it's one thing to say, well, it works fine for me. <laughs> it's another thing to actually have a software agent on site there where you can run some tests from, from the user's location and from the user's perspective oh. and get the same types of results that the user would see. That's interesting because we, we have a, a little saying, you know, just among the engineers that the one thing we have to defend against is the network doesn't work. That's, that's, the, that's the saying that you, know, you hear from the user who, it's not their fault, but all they know is the thing I was doing isn't working, I need you to fix it. But that doesn't help us because that says nothing about the problem. It says nothing about exactly what's going on. You're saying you can now use this to find out what's going on from the perspective of the user rather than just from the administrator sitting in a machine room somewhere. That's correct, that's exactly right. Okay, so take me through this. How, exactly how does this work, what does it look like? Okay. Well. First down here in this lower part of the display, you'll see we have all this list of software agents. So these are places where we have deployed a software agent in our network, and again, these are like virtual users. And what we can do is we can set up tests from these agents, and we can run these tests against application servers, like your email server, or your web server, or your FTP server. We can also run these tests from traffic agent to traffic agent, and run pure network tests to make sure that there's network connectivity, and to test the throughput, and the quality, and, and things like delay, and jitter, and thru throughput, loss, et cetera, on that particular network link. Um, so let me just go through the types of tests we, we have. So the first type are network services tests. We have a DHCP, DHCP server tests, and what this test actually does is this traffic agent contacts the DHCP server, gets an IP address. Once it successfully has that, it, it checks to make sure that it's in the range that it expected from that DHCP server, and then once it has it, it just releases that. This is for the last hour of the response times, and you can see that it's kind of coming down. It's going, it goes up and down. But it's how quick is that DHCP server responding and handing out IP addresses? Okay. Uh, here's a DNS server test. This particular test um, is, is we're running it from multiple locations and we're resolving hosts. Mm -hmm. And I just have two hosts that we're resolving here. You'll see what they're at flukenetworks.com and google.com. And what this test shows you is how long did it take for that DNS server to resolve those hosts from all these different locations right, that we're running tests right. from. And again, that's also running every five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, a radius server tests a radius server for authentication. Um, this FTP download performance test, this is, this is a great test because it downloads, so we, we have a, a fairly large file on our FTP server. I just download that from all my different locations every five minutes, and it can tell me the throughput of that FTP server right. from all those different locations. POP3 ser server and SMTP server, so these are my email tests. Uh, this web server performance. Uh, this is a great test because not only does it tell me how long does it take to download this web page, but it breaks it out into all the different individual components required to download that web page. How long did it take to resolve? How long did it take to get to right. the first byte? Right. How long did each of the individual components? And you can actually tune your web pages using this uh, particular test. So that's really the, the internet applications where we do what I call layer seven tests. The, the agents actually interact with the different uh, applications as if they were a real user. Right. Um, then we have what, uh, what I call layer four application tests. So these are tests where we haven't actually gone the extra step and done, done the, the full interaction with, although we intend to do that in future releases for all these different applications. This is just a layer four. Is the application there? Does it, when I open the port that the application's running on, does it respond? And you can really build these types of tests for any application that you have. Um, because all it is is, is it tests a port open, but it, but it gives you the response time. So this is like our, our Fluke Network Citrix server. You can see from, from our different locations what's the response time uh, for that particular server when you, when you open a port on it. So this sounds like something that we're going to be playing with a lot over the next couple of weeks. Joe, 
Thank you very much. This is a very cool product. I'm, I'm going to learn how to use it just so that I, at, at the very minimum I can tweak the other troubleshooting guys. Yeah. But if you want to find out more about what we're doing at Interop, you got to stop by our booth. you got to stop by the NOC at Interop Las Vegas 2010. And uh, you must, might see a couple of our fluke friends. Absolutely. Remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.